by your New England Ford dealers, Abby, Scal, and Perk with you. You guys, the Celtics had every chance. That final sequence was insane, and they come up just short, Scal. Now, you, you guys see the, the small parts of being great, of winning titles, of winning close games. It's every pass matters. They played great defense. If that pass was on time to Jalen Brown, he doesn't have to bobble it. He's one-on-one -on -one with Caruso. He's at the basket laying it up. Not now he has to dribble out. You know, he, he regains himself, goes over to Kemba Walker. Kemba Walker got a good shot. He, wasn't, he didn't shoot the ball well today, but he got a good, good shot. And then, uh, but that's just how it goes. But I like what I saw today from the Celtics all, all game long. I mean, obviously, I would like to see more from Kemba. But outside of that, the big shots that these guys made, the defensive stops that these guys got, it's great team effort across the board. Perk, what was the scene in your man cave as that was all going down? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, seriously, I, I, I'm with Scal, though, Abby. I thought this was a great game all across the board. This was old school. The score is ni was 96 to 95. I thought the Celtics could build from here. And look, I understand there's no more victories, but the way that they competed on the defensive end, first of all, we haven't seen this Celtic defense all season long. They stepped up to the plate. Even the shots that the Lakers were hitting, they were tough, contested tools. And by the way, they buckled up. They was talking. They was trapping. They was doing everything that we have known the Celtics to do. And I was very impressed, more so with the Celtics than even the Lakers, although the Lakers got the win. The Celtics really don't have anything to hang their heads about. Defensively, I think they took a step forward tonight. All right, I know we don't really want to see it again, but let's go through the wild sequence at the end of the fourth and to end this game. And, and you guys tell me what could have changed, what could have gone differently. Everything was perfect, just a better pass right there. Jalen Brown in the open court, one dribble right to the rim. But everything else outside of that, I'm good with. And like you said, Scout, Kevin was ice cold. I mean, I would argue he looked, he hesitated on taking that shot. Oh, you thought so? I feel like there was a moment. I, I feel like he thought about it. Show me where you think that. Steps, looks, eh, maybe not. You're right. I like it. I think he knew he was up against the clock. I, don't, I, I can't argue with that. Just, it's all about the little thing. It's this pass right here. If that pass is on time, on target, Jalen Brown goes to the basket. Lakers call timeout. I mean, it, I, you, I don't have a problem with that shot at all. Perk, I gasped. And that Kemba Walker pass up to Jalen Brown, though, because in my mind, it was two straight games where it was Kemba and that turnover in those clutch moments. Yeah, absolutely. And Kemba has never been known to be a facilitator or a passer. He's a bucket getter. And to be honest, he would have had to make a perfect pass to get that pass to Jalen Brown because they had people around them. So at the end of the day, I was just happy that they got the stop, though, Abby and Scal. Yeah. Like, Semi Ojale buckled down. He didn't let, uh, you know, Anthony Davis bully him. He didn't let Anthony Davis get a clean look. He got into his body, got physical with him, and forced the turnover. And the Celtics just kept competing and kept fighting. At the end of the day, all you want to do is make sure you give yourself a chance to win the ball game. And I thought the Celtics did that tonight. Kimball would not play horrible again, and they will come together. Jason Tatum found his rhythm. And Jalen Brown, hey, he was Jalen Brown as usual. I know. We are going to talk about this duel between AD and LeBron and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum because, I mean, I would argue Celtics duo outdueled the Lakers. But really, this game had everything. If you're the Celtics, better defense. Their stars st here on Celtics Post Game Live, adding injury to insult in this one-point loss to the Lakers. Marcus Smart went down in the second half, and guys, it was ugly. The team calling it a calf strain, but, I mean, watching the replay, Scal, I mean... No, Perk, I was... I didn't know. I don't... I, I've seen dudes bust their Achilles. I've seen ACLs. I've seen all kinds of things. I don't know if I've ever seen... We saw play, Gordon Hayward like break his leg. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen... Perk, you ever seen anything like that? Like he Ooh, lands... Over your eyes if you don't want to see it again. I, don't, I mean, really, yeah. I don't know what that I is. Have. You have, I Perk? have, I have. Yep, I was playing with the Oklahoma City Thunder and, and Tabo Cephalosha had that same type of calf string. And it's, it's not 
I'm telling you, it's that painful. Now, my thing is, is that what grade yeah. uh, of calf strain it is, because it looks severe, and for Marcus Smart to go down howling, I know it had to be painful. So a uh, calf strain is serious. I watched Tabo Cephalosha uh, battle with it for years. So, yeah, that pain oh. is serious, Scal and Abby, serious. Well, that's not good. As you saw him walk off, the, hop off the floor, did, not wanting to put any weight quick, on it. Yeah. How, did, how did Tabo do? Like, how long did it? Back how long like was he out? Yeah. It, it, so, so, so I'm gonna tell you. He had, I think, I don't look, I don't really remember, but I think it was like a grade one, uh, no, a grade two ankle, a uh, grade two calf strain. So he was out for like six weeks. He came back and then he re-aggravated and he was out again for like another two months. And it, seriously. He never got over it. That's why you always see him wear that one sleeve when he was playing because that calf injury always was lingering with him. He, he was always re-injuring. Oh, perk. We don't want to hear that. Uh, a strain, by definition, is a tear. So there's muscle tear in there. Yeah, minor. Yeah, not like, not, not like rupture. It's not yeah. a rupture. Different tear, from a rupture. rupture. Right. Different. So strain, the, the, yes. Yeah. But you know what? But Perk's right though. Like calves and stuff like that, uh, ha hamstrings. They like they 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 heal yep. weird, and you got to be a hundred percent before you come back. Yeah, which is too bad. And, and the good the good thing about it is that you you don't have you can't have surgery to prepare it because yeah. it's basically a soft tissue. But the only problem with it is is that you have to make sure that you give it the right amount of time to rest. Or if you come back too soon, it could just keep, it could be an ongoing situation. So hopefully, you know, we got, you know, the NBA, the Celtics got the best doctors and medical staff around. We just can't rush Marcus Smart back. It's a delicate injury and a serious injury. He got to take his time. So far, that's all we've seen from this training staff is just taking the cautious approach. And so before we speculate anymore, let's hear from the head coach, see if he has an update. Here now is Brad Stevens. It's the post-game press tear. So there's muscle tear in there. Yeah, minor. Yeah, not like, not, not like rupture. It's not yeah. a rupture. Different tear, from a rupture. rupture. Right. Different. So strain, the, the, yes. Yeah. But you know what? The first good, right, though, like calves and stuff like that, uh, ha hamstrings, they like, they, 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 Heal yep. weird, and you got to be a hundred percent before you come back. Yeah, which is too bad. And, and the good, the good thing about it is that you, you don't have, you can't have surgery to prepare it because yeah. it's basically a soft tissue. But the only problem with it is, is that you have to make sure that you give it the right amount of time to rest. Or if you come back too soon, it could just keep. It could be an ongoing situation. So, hopefully, you know we got, you know. The NBA, the Celtics got the best doctors and medical staff around. We just can't rush Marcus Smart back. It's a delicate injury and a serious injury. He got to take his time. So far, that's all we've seen from this training staff is just taking the cautious approach. And so before we speculate anymore, let's hear from the head coach, see if he has an update. Here now is Brad Stevens. It's the postgame.